and this tutorial is going to be a real quick way on how to take a regular photograph and turn it into an almost painting looking effect by using textures. So we're going to start with our base image and then by, by applying these textures and a layer mask we're going to convert it into this image. First thing we need to do is define some textures. You can either take these um, out and about when you're photographing let's say the side of a wall or if you see something that you just like the texture of let's say a palm tree you could use these to enhance a photograph if you don't have them just do a search on the web for textures and you'll find a dozen of them now the first step is we're going to start with one texture now notice it doesn't appear through into our image and that's because the layer blend mode up here is set to normal if we change that to soft light, you could already see it bleeding through to the image. Now the first thing we have to do is add a layer mask. Once we add the layer mask, we're going to paint out the effect that we don't want. In this example, the eyes, we're going to make sure that the eyes themselves are, are coming through because that's what I want the the, the, the person to looking at this the person looking at this image, I want the eyes just to grab them. So from here, paint it with black at 100% opacity. I'm going to paint back the eyes. Now, by changing the opacity, what we want to do from here is just dictate where we want the texture to show through and we want where we want it to be hidden. I'm going to make my brush a bit larger and with a low opacity I'm just going to brush right over her face just a touch. And by doing this, it's bringing in the details of her face while keeping the texture in the background. If you make a mistake or if you feel you took away a little bit too much, just change the color back to white and then paint back the effect that you want. Now, that was a real simple way to convert that image. From here to add to it, if you add another texture, change that to soft light, we can start to get different effects. Now, if you notice the face again is still, um, the texture is showing through the face because we didn't add a layer mask on top of that layer. So, clicking on the layer mask that we created in the texture layer, pressing the Alt key down on a PC or the option on a Mac, we're going to click and just drag it to the next layer. And all that's doing is copying that layer mask to the second layer. Then from here, since we don't want the effect to be pulled through too much, I'm going to go back to deleting or erasing some of the effect. From here I'm changing my opacity to 50. And again, just experiment and you start to paint out the effect. And just a little more. At any time, if you want to see what you're actually painting, if you press the Alt key on a PC or the Option key on a Mac, click on the layer mask and it's going to show you the areas that you're actually painting in. Now notice over here in this section I made a mistake I'm going to switch my color back to white and just paint out that effect at 100 percent opacity there now I'm back switch the color back to black and if I click on the layer mask again it'll give me my actual view of what we're dealing with so we started with this image here we added one layer mask along with the texture and then just get a different effect we added another texture. From here the second texture in my opinion is just a little bit too harsh so if you take the opacity slider and just mess with it the first thing to do is take it all the way to zero so there's no effect and then just slowly bring it to the right until you feel the effect is exactly where you want it. Right about there. So, again, starting with a simple photograph, we added a couple textures to it in the layer mask, and we produced our results. To get the final image like this, this is where a few plugins come in. 
Um, I personally, I love working with Nick Software, and I love working with On One. And by changing up some of the plugins, these are the effects you can create.